Saturate my heart Cause an overflow Oh, Emmanuel God is a spirit And they that worship him Must worship him in spirit and in truth To many of us, the memory verse, we know it But what does it mean? God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. There are three kind of words in that statement. One, worship. Two, spirit. Three, truth. Three kind of God is a spirit. That tells us that the realm of God is not physical, it's not tangible, it's not a person you can touch, like I'm touching him now. No, that's not the like, okay, this is God. No. God, he said, no man has ever seen God in you. No man. So, God is not seen with the optical eyes. God is not the man you can touch and say, this is God, or this is this one. No. God is spirit. Meaning, he's not seen. I can't touch your spirit and say this is your spirit. God is an unseen entity. And they say, they that worship me, that word there, they that do business with him, they that interact with him, they that fellowship with him, the people that come to him, you know, it's uh, in Hebrews 11 verse 6, he that cometh to God must believe. So he that interact with God must believe that he is. You may not see him, but by his believe he is. That tells us the spirit dimension of God. God is spirit. So they that do business with this God must believe. They that do business with this God, they that worship him must transact that relationship or that business. Knowing fully what are his realities. And the spirit realm. The word truth means reality. Truth is not saying what is right. No. Truth is saying what is not original information from God. Truth, truth, truth is not saying what is right. Truth means you are declaring what is original from God's perspective. You are speaking for something from God's perspective. That's truth. So when I say you are sick, it's a lie. It, may, it is a factual lie. It's a fact that sickness is in that person's body. I get it. But it is a lie because from God's perspective, it doesn't exist. So what's when you say you are poor? It's a factual lie. Fact being that you don't have money in your pocket. Lies being that in God's realm, you are loaded. So anyone coming to God must understand that my, this God's realities are not tangible. They are in spirit realms. Holy Ghost is there. The reality of the believer are in spiritual quantities. That's not that Because the realities of God if God says, I have money for you, I want to give you money. You would think he wants to give you cash as he can, can, can it to your hand. Have but God's currency is not going to see this. I can tell you. God's currency is in spiritual quantities. If you don't understand that, John chapter 4 verse 24 is not your reality. Anyone that relates with this God must understand that this God, I can't touch him. Therefore, his realities cannot be touched. That's a God speaks from his realities. You look at where he say you are, you know, he said, uh, tomorrow as you are flying the plane, remember to call mommy. Now, flying the plane. You don't have plane. So, God is speaking from his reality. So, in a factual, you don't have plane. But in God's reality, there's a plane that attacks your life. 
So the realities of God are in the spirit realm. So when Bible said that to be carnally minded is death, to be spiritually minded, like I said, what is it to be spiritually minded? People think to be called spirituals. That's what is that? Spiritually minded doesn't mean you are quoting scriptures and praying kaka 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 kaka. No, 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 no. There are many people who are quoting scriptures praying kaka 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 kaka. What kind of? You know carnality? Thinking like a man. That's carnality. Thinking like a man. That's carnality. Eh? Carnality means thinking like a man. So to be spiritually minded means begin to think, understand that this God, his realities are in spirit realms. Even though I'm not able to touch it, I know I have got it. Until you, that is why faith is a capital plus if a man must relate with God. Because faith is what transports you to his realm. You cannot fellowship with a God that you are not in his realm. You can understand that when Adam sinned, the God of Eden was, was the realm of God that Adam was fellowship with God with. When he sinned, they chased him out. He couldn't fellowship with God any longer. God is spirit and his realities. Truth there means reality. The realities of God are in spiritual quantities. For a man to be able to enjoy the realities of God, you must be able to transcend into that spiritual realm where you can interplay, meddle with those realities. Then begin to transport them. What we call miracle is only miracle in our side. From God's perspective, it's transportation. It exists there. They are only trans. It, it's only delivery package. It's a delivery system. Praise God. So the realities of God, they are not in physical forms. That is why God didn't say, I am the God that gives you wealth. I empower you for wealth. So you must now understand that that empowerment for wealth carries spirit is in spiritual realities. The blessing of God. When you begin to trade that spiritual consciousness, you begin to walk in a That is why the body of Christ is, in, you know, in general, in many, many quarters are weak. Because we, 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 we are so focused on this world. Listen to me. I told us last week that a man of God does not speak sense. We are not sent to speak intellect. We are sent to speak spirit. We are communicators of the realms of God to mankind. That's who we are. So, if all we do is to communicate what makes sense, what human beings are taught physically, then we are failing. That is why believers are failing because we are living in this realm. We want to operate by this realm and succeed in God. It can't happen. It can't. So, you must learn the laws of the spirit, learn how to operate in the realms of God, understand that the realities of God are in the spirit realm. This God I'm praying to is not the man I can see. But he says, when I call him, he will answer me. So, you must understand that realm to be able to maximize it. They that worship him must worship him in spirit. It doesn't mean close your eyes. Mean, I'm in the spirit. It's a lie. You're not saying anything. Everybody said, okay, said, okay, let us be in the spirit of going to worship. Was I in the flesh before? They are only statements we have carried around, we don't understand them. We are going to worship, let's, let us be in the spirit. There's some people. He said, nah. that one don't woke up from his from boyfriend's house. They that worship him must understand. 
understand that this God, he is reality and his spirit. If I said, Joe, I want 1,000 bottles of that to drink now, I must understand that the reality of that drink is in a book hey. He cannot tell me now, hey, I can sell 1,000 bottles now. If I don't understand that what he's saying is that he can get it for me, his realities of that drink is not in here. It's in Bokwasi. So, if I understand that when he tells me I should give him five hours, I know what it means. I can tell it. And he has to not travel to Bokwasi to go and bring it in. If I don't understand that and I give him money, and I spend the 1,000 bottles in the next two minutes, I'll be frustrated. That's how many are frustrated. Because the answer to God's, the answer of God to your prayer is delivered in spiritual quantities because God is spirit. So, the creations of God are in spiritual quantities. It takes you faith to transport it. If you don't understand that, that delivery is in the spirit realm. You cannot cultivate yourself to trust. That's a people with high faith download the loss from God. They that do business with God, the people that come to relate to this God must understand that his deliveries, his truths, his realities are in the spirit realm. So I also need to step into the spirit realm before I can ascertain it. If I tell you I am not sick, and you see me sick bed, I tell you I'm not sick. Because you are in this physical world, you may think I'm lying. But with the realm I'm talking from, my reality is there. So I am speaking the only truth and speaking realities. So if you call somebody from Madagascar now and tell him good morning. Oh, good evening. He tells you good morning. You see, you are lying about the time. He is not lying. It's all about realities. You go to the channel. Good, 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 uh, where are we? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. He said good morning. You may think ah, you are lying. No, he's not lying. He's speaking his realities. You also speak your reality. So you, he's saying the truth. Realities. So when you are coming to God, you must understand that His realities are not tangible. Heaven is not the place you can go and talk. Okay, hey, this is the gate of heaven. Physically heaven. <laughs> it's a realm. It's a realm. It's a realm. So they say Jesus was saying the Son of Man who is in heaven. He's here on the earth. So it's a realm he's talking about. It's a realm is kind about so you can carry the atmosphere of heaven all around you. The one that comes to God must have that understanding that everything I need from this God is within. But those things are in the realms of the spirit. Because that woman was Jesus told that woman that if you know the man talking, you, you ask him to give you water. No one said you don't have a bucket, no one is canal. That is how many, many of us will be here. The woman said, You don't have a bucket to fetch. You say, I'll give you water. What? what do you mean? You don't have a bucket. The woman is operating by this physical realm, three, three dimensional world. Jesus was operating in the spirit. That's why he was explaining to the woman that God is spirit. I am spirit. To worship me, to relate with me, to do business with me. If I say, I will give you water, I'm not going to say that because of the bucket. I will give you water. Just say yes. That's all you need. And what I will give you is in the spirit realm. But no man got it. She has proved it. Pain by a prophet. The failure of the believer is not because God is wicked. It's not because scriptures don't work. It's not because the faith is not working. It's simply because he does not understand that this kingdom we are in it's not a kingdom made by human hands. It's a kingdom operated by the laws of the spirit because the realities of this kingdom are in the spirit. I 
in the spirit. I am blessed. I am rich. Yes, you are rich. The riches is in the spirit. You begin to transport them as you are going about through the agency of the blessing. And the blessing also finds expression through those things we discussed. Hey, God. So what they say be spiritually minded it simply means let your mind be hooked onto the realities of the spirit. Don't allow this physical world to control your thought pattern. Don't allow this three dimensional world that is governed by space, time and matter to go through your mentality. So the spiritually minded is the one who is consciously thinking from the spirit to the physical realm. From to the carnal man is the one who is thinking from the physical realm trying to force into the spirit realm. It doesn't work out. You must, allow, you must allow scriptures to rule your mind. But that's the only way to cultivate the thought pattern. When a person is born again, the next thing to do is to try to teach him how to think like God, how to talk like God, how to act like God. That is what we teach him. But that's the only way can begin to understand it. How to think like God, how to talk like God. How to behave like God? You are teaching him how to think godly. He means godliness. How to think like God? So in this kingdom, we don't think these thoughts. Look at it. These are the thoughts we think. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are pure, or good report, think on these things. So if the thing is not a good report, don't think on it. Look at it again. You are mentoring a new believer. In the world, then tell him we don't speak like this. We don't say I'm sick in this kingdom. What do we say? We can feel it. Say I am healed. I am healed. I am well. I am whole. I am strong. Is what? That? Why do you say that? Because your reality now is no longer in this physical body. Your reality is in the spirit realm, and in the spirit you can't be sick. So if this physical body is telling you are sick, it's trying to bring to kind of thought. No. Reject it. Begin to think that way. Financial speed. This is the fundamental that we teach believers. How to think like God. How to talk like God. How to behave or act or work like God. Then you are growing a spiritual man. I forget the person born again. Let's see teach about this. Uh, Prosperity, you have, you have killed him. He has died. You are only empowering his carnality. Carnality. And he will get the money very soon. You see what we do with the money. <laughs> you get the money, and the girls in the church will become his, his restaurant. You eat Amma, chop Athefia, uh, chop Justina, chop Jonathan. So John 4 24 is deeper than what we is we, 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 deeper than memory verse. The people that must transact any business with God must understand that his realities are the spirit realm. So you are not governed by what we see physically, you are governed by what you see spiritually. So God did have lift up your eyes and see all the land with us yes. It's not in your physical eye. The eye of his spirit, the eye of faith. The eye of faith. So, kingdom of God doesn't come by, okay, no. I don't know. There is the Esau generation, the Jacob generation. The Esau generation walked by Christ and us. But that's what the Father told him. That you, when you labor hard, you make money. My brother, give me the blessing. The blessing. So when Jacob was not engaged in the blessing, he was suffering. Suffering in Laban's house. 
until one day came. He said, Ah, no, I carry blessing. No. When the consciousness of that blessing came on him, blew. So if you don't operate based on the consciousness of the blessing, you will suffer. People must give to us. They must give. They must give. It's a consciousness. You must give. You must give. Yes, it's a consciousness. I don't need to be here. Because of the consciousness of the blessing. And one of the articles of the blessing is called divine favor. So, you must just want to help me. Is there? You must like me. Is there? People who don't like me, it's not physical. In the heart, they like me. In the heart, they like me. Not physical. They like to display. Don't forget that uh, the Kodomo can just say, Jesus, forget about it. We know. Even though we have been insulting you in town, we want to kill you in town, forget it. We know you are a man of God. So they know. Saturate my heart, rise to your feet. Cause an overflow. Oh, Emmanuel. Saturate my heart. Cause an overflow. Oh, Emmanuel, saturate my heart, saturate my heart, cause an overflow. Oh, Emmanuel, thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You are blessed.